About two weeks ago, I was contacted by a company in China who said they had a brand new 100mm macro lens for professionals that they wanted me to evaluate. And seeing as I didn't have any other macro lenses to evaluate that week, like every other week, <laughs> I said, send it on, I will evaluate it. And they did, and there it is. is too strong a word? No, it's fine. Crushed is a good word. I was expecting something a little grander. I wasn't expecting a clip-on lens. It's been a many years since I've used one, though, though we did play around with them uh, using um, scanner lenses. I forget that we did that video, and they are fun because I do use them when I want to take snapshots of things to show you guys, like if I'm doing a video and want to show you a close-up of an insect or something, they're great for that. So I thought, well, this will, this, if, if it's any good, this would be perfect for that. It arrives in a, a really shocking box. I must say that the company's name is Apexel. It's like Apexel, but without the gap and with an E instead of an I. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the, the, the packaging sets the wrong tone, but it arrived undamaged. This is what I've been doing with this. I put it on my phone and every day that I was shooting, which is every day, I would carry this with me. And when I set up an insect to photograph in the lab toilet, I uh, would shoot it first with my phone using this. And I'd get several different shots they're actually quite good, uh, quite consistent. So the device clips on the phone and then the lens slides back and forth to fit whichever lens on the phone is turned on. I've got one of these phones that has three of them, but I also have a phone that I put a piece of plastic on there. I don't know why. I shouldn't have covered up the lenses, should I? But anyway, a piece of plastic goes on there to protect the lenses. But this thing still works, even with that on. It just clips on, and then you can slide it over the appropriate lens. So that's nifty, and it can go on either way. The clip-on thing is rubbish, and uh, it's very thin, very plastic. And I don't think it's going to last a long time. But this part, the metal and glass part, was so surprisingly good that when this breaks, I'm gonna find another way to mount this on my phone. Probably I'll drill out a piece of aluminium and actually clip it on the phone and, and use it properly. The biggest negative to this lens has nothing to do with the lens. The biggest negative to this lens is the phone you have to put it on. If you have an Apple iPhone, an Apple iPhone has three cameras and it has a computer chip inside the phone that knows which camera you want to use and goes to another one. But it waits until you're almost ready to take the shot. And it is maddening. I thought you might like to come on this impromptu 100 millimeter macro testing walk. Let's see what we can find. As you would expect with a handheld phone lens, it's uh, a little tricky to, um, to focus it because you're working at such close quarters. The picture is surprisingly nice. Well, maybe not surprisingly, it, the picture is nice. Let's look at these little things and a bit of the sunshine here. Now, I am using this in video mode Beautiful. This is actually the same plant on which you find those clown weevils that I've told you about. Let's see if we can get it in focus. There we go. Wow. That's pretty nice. They really aren't bothered by me. They, if you've seen their mouths, you'll understand. I was only able to get one photograph before the phone jumps into another lens, and that is unbelievably irritating. So I'm having the same problem out here 
uh, as I had when I was playing around with this lens indoors. When I'm using it for video, it's really fantastic. It's very sharp, the picture's great. Um, it's a lot of fun to use. But as soon as I want to take a still photograph and I switch to the, the still mode, um, within a few seconds, the, the phone will, will jump to another one of the cameras. I guess thinking there's something wrong with the one I'm using. And uh, even though there are settings in the phone that I've changed so that I, it won't do that, uh, and it won't do that now on video, but it continues to do it on stills. A friend was telling me that there's an app that uh, another company puts out that uh, is able to force the phone to stay in one, in, on one camera. What I'll do is I'll see if I can uh, sort this problem out. But uh, until then, I'm afraid it's a bit frustrating as far as getting photographs goes. I'll just keep taking videos instead. I like it. Well, I can tell, I can tell how I'm going to be using this lens. He's waving. How about that? There's this big dragonfly that has landed on everything except his leaf, including the macro lens, the phone, my hat. Oh, he's back on his piece of grass. Let me try this. I told you he was brave. This lens is almost touching him. These things are fearless. He's probably eating. Usually when they don't seem bothered, they've got something in their mouth, usually still alive and trying to get out. How about that? I would buy one of these things just for this. I think that this is a different side of macro photography. Can you believe how clear that is? This is without it. wonder how zoomy in it'll get. Oh. Now you see it's not nearly as, no, it's not nearly as nice a picture. Let me put the clip on back on. If that does not make you want to go out and buy one of these things, I have to find out where you can buy them from. Oh yeah, he's saying, yeah, they're over there. He said, they're over there on the left is where you can buy them. Look at the, look at the wings. Gosh, I wish I could get an actual still photograph of this. My goodness, this is like the shots I get with my Mitutoyo microscope objectives. Would you look at that? Consider me fairly impressed and very grateful to this dragonfly. I'm going to try again one more time to, to take a photograph of this guy while he's still here. He's coming after me. I cannot find a single long-legged fly. And normally, it's the most common flying insect I see down here. Maybe that dragonfly's eaten them all. Dragonflies love those things, apparently. Well, they, they might not love them, but they love to eat them. There's one. Dead ahead. And I don't have the lens on. That's it in the center of the screen. These ants are not hard to find either. In fact, when, when I tread on the ground down here, that seems to bring them running. Uh, and then they'll go back and get their mates from the nest. And before you know it, this, this tree stump will be absolutely alive with the things. Well, this guy's being a bit more cooperative because he thinks he can get his snappers into me somehow. Is this not just the most wonderful place to have in my back garden? I come down here all the time looking for interesting things to photograph. You've got the sea and the pond and oh, the, the dragonfly is following me. 
This is the same guy that I've just been photographing. I don't think he wants me to leave. I've been befriended by him. So it, it's an absolutely gorgeous place. There's no doubt about it. And so many fantastic things to photograph. But I must say, I've never once thought about coming down here to video macro stuff. So that's my little escape romp is over for the day. It's so nice during the summer to be able to get down to a place like this, even if it is just for 45 minutes or an hour. I had a very successful uh, 10 minutes uh, out there with the net. I got some absolutely awesome stuff to photograph, which is great. The, um, the lens appears to be really pretty good quality um, for a clip-on magnifying glass, basically. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure if it is. It, it might actually be a more complex lens. It doesn't say anything about it in the, the documentation that Apex will send me. But this thing in the, in the photograph mode was driving me to use swear words. The camera experience, that ruined it for me. Apexel invest in a, a software person. They're not made of software, they work with software. And, and have them write you some kind of a program that you can put on your website so that people that buy the lens can go there, download it onto their phone and have it disable the switchy camera thing. Help us figure this out. You shouldn't, you shouldn't leave it up to, to us to go find another company that's got a program that will do it for us, which I still haven't done. So other than that, I think that this is one of the nicest uh, clip-on lenses I have ever used, and I have used a lot of them. So let me sum up. The lens is tremendous fun. It's substantial. I think the lens part is built to last. I don't think this thing uh, is going anywhere. It's well made, it's solid. This is a, a, an Achilles heel. This is a, a, a weak part of the, of the product. This, this seems only a matter of time before it gets cracked or broken. Apexels, get a better box and get a better clip. This clip does not do your lens justice. There's a fairly deep thread around the the uh, metal housing. And uh, this is because it has filters that go in there. They didn't send me any of the filters, but it has a, a CPL filter and a star filter and other things. It turns out that this is a multi-element lens. It looks like it has three elements on the drawings. I'm tempted to take it apart and see, but I don't think I will because I rather like it and I don't want to damage it. So. Let's be real, this is a clip-on macro lens. Even if it has multiple elements, it is a clip-on macro lens. And you can buy kits of these for $10 that have five of them or 10 of them or whatever. This is in a different league. This is a much better lens. And this is $20. The list price is more than that. I found, I found it's available in the UK on eBay for only $82 with $30 shipping and handling, which is a real bargain. It makes me want to move to England to buy one of these, but you can buy them over here from Amazon with free shipping for $19.99, uh, which is, I think, for as good as it is on the, on, on the video, it's a steal. And it comes in a, it comes in a, a little case, a uh, soft case. I forgot to mention that, I should have done. It comes in a nice thing with drawstrings. It had drawstrings, but I pulled the drawstrings out by mistake. Problematic, but it does fit in that bag, which can then go in your pocket. So other than the rubbish clippy thing, which is a disappointment, um, this, is a, this is a really cool thing to have. I'm glad uh, that uh, I have this now because I will use this for footage that I have not really thought to get before. So yeah, 
Apexels 100 millimeter professional macro lens. Maybe it means for professionals of a different type, not, not photographic professionals. Professional chimney sweeps, for example. This might be designed for them. It works for the iPhone, Pixel, Samsung Galaxy, OnePlus camera phones. Where this thing shines, and the reason that I am actually going to recommend you consider throwing one of these in the bag is for the video. It's just a great addition to have uh, when you're out taking macro in the field. The footage is absolutely fantastic and, and it's so much fun to use. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't spook the animals more than it does, but you can get this thing right down on top of them. I, I love this. I had a really good time with it this afternoon, and I promise you will be seeing footage taken with this in upcoming videos. If you have a phone that you know how to use and you can turn off the switching lenses thing, buy one of these. You'll love it. You'll have a great deal of fun with it. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't use this as much as you do your big macro lens. What? That's all, that's all I have to say. It's good, it's inexpensive, it does the job, it's unbreakable. Buy two, buy two of these. Put one in your camera bag and lose the other one. That's what I do. I lose the first one and then buy another one. Then I find the first one, then I lose them both. Then I forget about it, and move on to something else. Buy one, 20 bucks, 20 bucks worth of fun. What else can you get for 20 bucks other than Patreon? Come to think of it, you be the judge. See you in a few days. Take care, be well.